So hi everyone, it's Tina from Number Old Beauty. So I'm quite intrigued by this month's June box for Violet Box because it's in this padded envelope. I actually had to pick it up from the post office. I just missed the postman uh, on the 5th. That's when my payments come out every month uh, for $22.95. And today is the 19th of June. So yes, and I got the notification a couple of days ago. It was on its way and it comes from Victoria. Just so you can sort of work out you know if this is the box for you so I'll put all those details down below as well as the running total for this box or sachet bag parcel I don't know I'm intrigued so I'm like when I actually got it from the thing I was like huh what is this and I was like oh violet box so yeah so I'm just feeling it I hope everything's all right I can feel like the um, bubble wrap and that but I'm keen to get into this so let's see I'm just trying to work out how to open this so I don't damage anything and um, I purposely uh, normally don't look at Facebook because I obviously I think they normally give heads up what's going to be in the box, but um, try not to. So, Ooh, look at that very intriguing. I'm just going to grab the first thing. I think that's what I was feeling rolling around in there. That's okay. So this is a GHD style straight and tame cream or oh, cream. Ooh. Interesting. Which is good. Like I, I need lots of products for. Sort of, I suppose, straightening or taming my hair because I do a lot of sort of heat treatment on my hair, um, and I do try and switch up between the products. So this will be good. So I am in three to buy that. So I'm glad it's not a dry shampoo or a hairspray or something. So I like that as far as a, you know, a hair product. Now I spy the card. So oh, happy birthday to Violet Box. It's their first birth. Happy birthday, Violet Box. So, yeah, I haven't been with them since the beginning. I'm actually not sure what month. I'm up to, I'll put it here, how many months I've been subscribed, so, yeah, cool. So we have um, your six items in here. Anyway, let's get to it. I'm, I'm keen to see what's in this. Uh, so a little bag, a little caddy bag, how cute. That, that is nice. Now that's a nice little pouch, pouch. Hmm, I've never heard of this. Milford, Auckland, New Zealand. Hey, New Zealand, just like me. Tina, love and care. I'm from New Zealand. I'm not obviously. I'm in Australia, obviously, at the moment. But anyway, sorry. This is so full size, 120 mils. It's $24. Recommended retail, which is over what I'm subscribed for this month. This little bag here is $26, and I actually like it. Because what I normally do is I'll switch up between different cosmetic cases or pouches. I've got quite a few of them. Um, but I do like that. It's got a little same coloured sort of thing. And... Ah! Sorry. Now, how is this pronounced? Arpeles. I did a haul a little while ago, which I'll link below on this brand, Arpeles. It's a Apoca 3 um, sort of brand, an Australian brand. And they have awesome awesome products um, now I'm not affiliated I pay for everything myself but this is the Tamanu conditioner and the black seed shampoo I already have these which I got in I think I can't remember I think it was like a gift with purchase or it was a or sort of sample or something in that box um, this is 60 mils I haven't used them yet but this will be good to sort of put together so I have been really enjoying uh, that brand I've sort of pretty much used most of the bath stuff that I got um, with that one now these are um, yeah, 60 mils, so full size is either 150 mils or 500 mils. So they are a sample, but it's a good size sample, and I really do like that brand, like I said. So that is a nice surprise. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. This is the other side, so you've got the, I suppose, whatever you want to put in there, and then this one opens out. The flap opens out. Oh, how cute is this? Look at this. This is a nail polish. Strange, beautiful, beautiful, strange. What the? Okay, I'm intrigued. It's a good little box. It's the Strange Beautiful Nail Polish, $22. Okay, what is it? Comprised of two super saturated, compelling colors, efficient geometric design. Oh, it's the um, case is a, what do you call it? No, efficient geometric design. Oh yes, it is. It's actually, yes, yeah, it's, it's nice and flush and you can sort of store it in something when you travel. Okay, and it's a good little size. So what is the mill? Hello, where's all the information? 
Okay, I'm, I gotta take this top thing off. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. And then you got the two little bottles. I don't know, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess, I don't know. Less than 10 mils, five mils, six mils, eight mils. I don't know how much sort of is, it could be the, like the little, the little ones that you get. Can't be 10 mils. What is it, five mils? I don't know. But that's a cute little size. Honestly, I have tons and tons of nail polishes. I will probably never ever make it to the end of one of the, you know, the big size sort of bottles. I have on a few, like my favorite is MAC um, Cool Reserve, of course, limited edition. Thank you, MAC Cosmetics. But um, it's a good little size. I've got to open it up and show you guys what the rest of it looks like. Oh, yeah, just a nice little brush. That is a beautiful color. It's like a dusty, a dusty pink. Well, actually, it's more of a it's quite a sort of a deepish, what would you call this one? It's quite along the lines of all the colors are like dusty pinks, but it's quite a sort of a gray, a gray tanny pink. Beautiful. But now, yeah, because I'm into more of, yeah, like I said, dusty pinks and stuff. So that is something I would definitely ooh, like. And this, gosh, I don't know. It's like autumn, autumn leaves gingery brown I'm not sure it is beautiful though because we're um in Australia you know it's autumn at the moment but these are beautiful colors for then or, or any sort of time of the year you do your toes and you you do your nails and your toes I don't know or I love that that is really really cute I really do like that and that's like I said great for sort of traveling I wonder if you can get different little um ones and you can put them together when you travel like different mix and match with the little case I don't know or the cap should I say I'm gonna have to look into that one so um, and next thing is Bioderma, so it's a little sample. This is the Bioderma Sebum Pore Refiner. Um, uh, so full size is 30 mils, and this is 15 mils. Okay, that's all right. So full size is 30.95 for 30 mils. So this is half half size of a full size product. It's quite quite a good little sample size. I do like sort of Bioderma. Um, so corrective care for enlarged pores. Why do you know? That's what I've got sort of around here. Okay, I'm just feeling around. Is there anything more? Let me just take it off. Uh, Pelis, Caddy's Pouch, the Bioderma. Oh, there's a brow pencil. Okay, hold on. Where are you? No, where is it? Okay, here it is. Ha <laughs> ha. This. So Chella. Oh, okay. I got a product in Chella. Was it Violet Box or was it Lip Sip Ink? It was a little highlighter pencil and um, I've been really enjoying it from this brand. So this is a, what did I just say, brow pencil for $21.50. But, um, oh, that's cute. What color? Black, brown, brun. Is that B-R-U-N? Is that brown? <laughs> I would assume so. Yeah, light brown brow pencil, which is good. It's quite can be quite universal depending how sort of I suppose much pressure you use with it but that, that's a great little sort of um a little pack this month that's probably the best box that I have had from Violet Box I would definitely say mainly because of the I like the little pouch I do like this um of course you know up, up here this Bioderma um and this but it's a good actually value I think this month as well so yes that is the very intriguing little um box sachet cosmetic pouchy thingy happy birthday box anyway happy, happy birthday again violet box um yeah so looking forward to seeing i suppose everybody else is like if there's different nail polish colors i'm gonna have to look into that because i'm really intrigued that's what i like every now and again in a box where i'll see a brand that i've never heard of like literally never heard of or some sort of concept or something i mean you can get little bottles like this but i haven't seen something in that sort of you know, I'm a bit sheltered though and some things, but anyway, I've got another unboxing um, after this, which I'll link below. It's the Wantable box, so that's an international one, and this is the Australian one. Anyway, take care.